Okay. Where have you got for them? So, so the word that I have for a Ghanaian farmer is that look, we want to build together, we want to build our nation. Together, we want you to earn more income. Together, we want you to be successful. Our product is the best for your farm activities. You can get more yield, better yield, and you conserve land because you amend your soil once you apply our fertilization. Mm. You don't even poison the ecosystem. The whole ecosystem is friendly. And with time, you reduce the cost of input fertilizer that you buy to add to your soil. Perfect. Don't you like this? It is the cheapest. Look for us. And when you look for us, you will never regret. Thank you. Nice message out there, you watching us. You don't know where to go. Give this product a try. If you go and it doesn't work, we will refund your money to you. Period. Period. Give this product a try. Period. Buy made in Ghana, eat made in Ghana, use made in Ghana fertilizers, use made in Ghana with sites, made in Ghana agrochemicals. Hello people, today we're coming your way with a company called Farmers Hoop Company Limited. They are into manufacturing of everything organic, fungicide, organic fertilizer, pesticides, they are all organic. So do stick around, share the video if you like it, comment, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for sticking around, keep supporting. Now let's get into the video. Today we are here to get to know what you do when it comes to agrochemicals, fertilizers, and all that you are doing to help farmers. So in brief, let us know what you do. Okay, thank you very much. Um, basically what we do is we do biological agro inputs. Okay. When I say biological, it means our products are coming from plants and animals. Only plants, plants and animals. So wow. we don't produce any synthetic uh, farm input here. Okay. All that we do is biological input. Farm input. Okay. And uh, we have uh, fertilizer, which we call it Asasinufusio. Asasinufusio. Wow. So if you are Ghanaian, yes. if you are Ghanaian <laughs> out there, you understand why he say. Yes. How rich the Nufusio is. Yes. All right. And uh, some Americans came in and said, if this product were to be in America, people would be scrambling for it. For it. Mm -hmm. And indeed, when you use the product, you understand why we name the name it Anofusio. 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 Okay. All right. Then, that is our flagship product, product and the maiden products mm -hmm. for the company. And uh, we have uh, another product that we call um, Agri Police. Agri Police. Um, why that name? Is? <laughs> you, see, you see, the names are very funny, right? Yeah. We very. don't just name our product. We look at the what they do exactly. So they arrest somebody. I am telling you. So <laughs> there's sicknesses, diseases okay. that attack like your crops, crops, and then the pests. It will just control it for you Perfect. and make sure your, your plant grows very very well. Mm. So why why this business? What necessitated you going into this business? Good. Uh, basically, uh, I'm a son of a farmer. Okay. Okay, I've been in a farm for a long time mm -hmm. and I, I did farming myself. Okay. And I'm still doing, doing farming. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, there was a time a friend and I went out and then we ate. Tell her we got poison ourselves, food poison. We ate cows. And uh, it wasn't easy. We got our lives back, and I was like, so can't we do anything about, about this? Yes. Then finally, what happened was, when I was with NDSSI, okay. World Bank launched a program, and the program was how to, the title was, I think, uh, Waste Management. Okay. So I was a coordinator. For that program, program. Mm -hmm. and then later on, tend to be a participant. Okay, and through that program, we came up with this business. Nice one. So, how long have you been running this business? 
So uh, we started that that project started in two nine. Two oh nine. Two and uh, the results came out in twenty eleven. But before the results came, I had already started. Started. Mm. And so I was placed head. And this is our flag, the wedding flag. For that, for that uh, program, yes. Okay. Ghana yes. Innovation Marketplace. I see. Yes. Nice one. Let it be here. So, uh, from here, they gave us some small money to start to with. start with. But at that time, I started, mm -hmm. and luckily for me, ADB believed in our project seriously. In fact, we had nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, but they helped us to get. Uh, I think 75,000 Ghana cities 10. Mm. And without collateral, because we got people who needed the products. And that time, even if you see the product, you wouldn't like it. It was just uh, something. Like, but when you put it. Prototype, when you put it on the ground, the then you see work. the performance. Mm. So they supported us and we got some few machines. Let me tell you, this business is the most difficult thing I have ever done. The reason was. We didn't have anybody anywhere doing the similar thing. So that you well, learn from, from them. So you have to start from scratch. Learn everything then. on our own. You go to a fabricator, mm. an engineer, asking, we need this machine. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even understand it. So you have to keep on explaining, be with the person, person. for him to be with Be your person. own engineer yes. and your everything. own fabricator, your own everything. I very much understand <laughs> Where, where you, you came from, I very much understand. And gradually, so it was in a powder form, it wasn't even in a powder form, you could see the particles. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to powder form, and then now we have the granular. Granular, mm -hmm. yes. Perfect. I think you are doing a young man's job. So where is your company located? Okay, so... Where you are at the moment is Asuka. Asuka. That is uh, the office. See, that's the office, okay. the administrative office, Top Martins mm -hmm. Complex. Yeah. Masi. We are in the same building with the National Health Insurance. Yes. On top of them. On top of them. Yeah. And we have a factory sited at Eputuja on the Lake Road. Lake Road. Uh, we have some few challenges there. So we are relocating, to. trying to move to around the Wangra area. Okay. So we are now working on the new one. site to be able to move to that place. That place will be our how place. how affordable is this fantastic product that you've come up with? It's amazing, man. Eh? I can tell you for a fact that even subsidized fertilizers cannot compete. Cannot compete. Perfect. <laughs> so farmers out there, and for you, is what you need. According to him, <laughs> the prices are unbeatable. Because if you go to the cocoa sector, mm. subsidized cocoa fertilizer mm. is 80 cities, 85 cities. And, and, yours is and we are selling at 68 cities. 68 cities. Can you imagine? Uh, uh, 50 kilo. 50 kilo. Yes. Bad. Can you imagine that organic fertilizers are very expensive as well, but we sell at a very low price. Right. And how much is the chemical? The chemical. Mm. The chemical, the yeah, chemical. The agrochemical. Mm -hmm. Which one are you? The, the, the oh, if you can give me no. a, a, all of them. Oh, okay. So, you mentioned the name and the price. Okay. Mentioned the name and the price. So, as I said, with you, mm -hmm. we are selling at 68 cities now. 68 cities. 50, 50, 50 kilograms. Kilogram. Okay. Then we have the agri police. Mm -hmm. The agri police, they come in pairs in, in, in the farming community. They call it Obana Dema. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you mix them. Oh, okay. To be able to spray. Spray. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's for all vegetables, all crops, because they are all organic. And that one is how many liters? One liter, one liter. One liter. Okay. Two liters. And that mm -hmm. one goes for how much? 40 cities, right? Yes. 40, 40 cities. Yes. For the two or for one? The two. For the two. Yes. For 2020. Yes. Very cheap. Let me tell you something. We don't even separate them. Mm -hmm. You can't yeah, say this one is just So you, 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 yes. you go together. Well, you see, the good thing about this thing is that this product. Mm -hmm. If it were to be with any big company, mm -hmm. that product would be sold like 120 cities. Wow. Yes, so why, why are you undercutting yourself? No, I'm not undercutting myself. I'm not. I have told you I'm a farmer. But so, the I, compassion you have yes. for them. To and I want more people 
to, to use, use this one. Mm. So that if I buy food from outside, I will not be poisoned. But, but some people to have the perception that the cheaper your product, the inferior the product may be. It, it is true. Yes. It is true. But the, the, the challenge is that if you also increase it, farmers cannot, cannot afford, afford it. it. And at the end of the day, the prices of the farm in, uh, uh, produce, produce will also be expensive. Expensive. It will affect their yes. house product. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, and then the, the, the consumer coming to market to buy, you know the disposable income of Ghana is Definitely, yeah. very small mm. and they cannot afford. Mm. And once even they label it organic, that makes that it way less. less. Mm. So, we are not ready to just increase prices because. So, what would you want to tell the farmer out there, the one in the Ashanti region here, the ones in Bromahafu, those in the north, that you would want them to use the product? Do you know something? Let me tell you some funny thing about Ghanaian farmer. Mostly, these days we are selling our product by products in Burkina and other, and they buy large quantities. So, you export the product yes. as well? Yes. To Burkina yes. and Mali, yes. and those yes. neighboring yes. countries? Yes. Okay. The reason is this if a Ghanaian farmer doesn't see your product on a subsidy program of government, of government. it says it's not good. It's not good. Mm. So, no matter how cheap it is, they still want the one coming from the government. And we have tried several times to be on that one. one. Subsidy and we haven't, we haven't gotten it. Okay. So a word for Ghanaian farm because we need to consume what we produce so that we let every single Ghanaian flourish. If we don't support, we wouldn't flourish. Do you know something? Even our work supports the farmers to make more income, especially cocoa farmers. Mm -hmm. We use the cocoa ball as part of our production raw material to yes, produce, produce the, the fertilizer. So it means that so I'm going to buy from them. Mm -hmm. Buy the cocoa pot from them, mm -hmm. process and get it back to them. So we will be rotating the just like way. that. And that is what I'm saying. What okay. way have you got for them? So, so the way that I have for a Ghanaian farm is that look, we want to build together, we want to build our nation. Together, we want you to earn more income. Together, we want you to be successful. Our product is the best for your farm activities. You can get more yield better yield and you conserve land because you amend your soil once you apply our fertilizers mm. you don't even poison the ecosystem the whole ecosystem is friendly and with time you reduce the cost of input fertilizer that you buy to add to your soil perfect don't you like this it is the cheapest look for us and when you look for us you will never regret thank you Nice message out there, you watching us. You got nowhere to go. Give this product a try. Period. Give this product a try. Period. Buy made in Ghana, eat made in Ghana, use made in Ghana fertilizers, use made in Ghana woody sites, made in Ghana agrochemicals. Thank you for sticking around. Keep the support coming. Share the video, comment and like if you love what we've been doing shout out to our customers in burkina Faso and mali